Having a UGC portfolio is an important part of your UGC business. It's your business card that helps brands determine whether or not they would like to work with you. However, if you're anything like me, you are probably even wondering how to even create this thing called a UGC portfolio. And in this video, I'm going to cover how to make a UGC portfolio with Canva, so keep on watching. And in case you're new here, I'm Sarah. I help content creators, brands, and entrepreneurs create their digital influence by sharing different creation tips, tech tools, and gadgets to help you create your workflows and influence with ease. Having said all of that, let's get into this video. The first thing you want to do is go to Canva simply by typing in canva.com in the web browser. Once you've opened and signed into Canva, you're ready to pick your template for your UGC portfolio. Now to make your life way easier, I've left a direct link to canva.com in the description below. You can either use the paid or the free version in the link below as well, and any version will work perfectly fine. The upgraded version just simply gives you a few more personal branding options as well as templates and stock media options. The next thing you want to do is simply pick your template. Now the great thing about Canva is that it offers so many different amazing templates to use as a starting point for your portfolio. Any portfolio template will really do the trick as you can then just customize it to your liking. You will want to ensure that your template is a website and not a presentation as you want to make sure that brands will be able to have access to your portfolio with an actual link. Now to do this simply type in the top search bar or website and a bunch of website templates will pop up for you. Once you have chosen your template, you can take it section by section just to see whether or not you can use some of the foundational elements of the template or if you want to delete it all and basically create your own. Now I personally went with the create your own kind of route. The first thing you want to include is a picture of yourself so brands simply know who they're working with as well as to just determine whether or not you are a suitable creator for that brand specific demographic. However, if you've already done your research on the brand, then you really shouldn't have a problem with this one. It's also a really nice way to put a name to a face. So should you be doing a discovery call with them later on, it's a lot more personal from the get go. Now you wanna pick a photo that comes off as professional, however, just not overly done too. So just a photo that clearly shows your face and your natural essence. You don't need a modeling picture or a highly curated photo shoot photo here at all. The easiest way to include your photo is by going to elements, type in frame, find your desired shape, drag it into your portfolio, and then simply drag your photo into the frame itself. This makes your photo easier to move around if need be and keeps it within its shape within the frame. The next thing you want to include is your name and your title. So for example, are you an influencer, a UGC creator, or the combination of the two? To create your name, simply click text, click add heading and drag it into your portfolio and change the font according to your liking by clicking the fonts tab in the top left. To create your subheading where you state who you are, you can create another text box and change the font to make it stand out. Or you can also add a box behind that text like I did by going to elements, type shapes and use the square shape and adjust it to your liking and brand colors. The next thing I like to include in my above the fold page are my social media links so that the brand can get an idea of my online presence and also to just see other works that I may not include in my portfolio. To get these logos, you'll go to elements, type in the social media you wish to include, like Instagram, and drag and resize it. To link that particular social media, you will simply go to the social media page and copy that link, then go back to Canva, right click the logo and click link and insert your link there. If there are some social media channels that you don't use or don't feel like you want to include in your portfolio, simply just don't include them. You can also add an email logo, which can also directly link to your email address, which just makes it so much easier for the brands to contact you instantly without having to scroll to the bottom of your portfolio. Additionally, you can add your location and any other portfolios if you create more than one type of UGC. In the next section of your portfolio, you're going to want to get straight into your body of UGC video work. Brands get such an influx of creators emailing them every day to partner with them. Therefore, you want to make their life easy and respect their time since everyone's time is limited. I personally like to break this section into smaller sections or subcategories such as wellness, skincare, lifestyle, etc. And your subcategories will all depend on the niche that you're in. I like to keep the section neat and clean by having my videos in iPhone frames so that way the brand can see what the videos would look like when viewing on a phone. I also like to include a little description as to what the video is about underneath it. To create this section, you would simply start with the heading by clicking text, choosing add a heading, drag it into your portfolio and change the font and sizing according to your branding. To add the line like I did, you can go to elements, type line, drag it into your liking and change the color on the top toolbar if you wish. To get your iPhone mock-up, you simply go to elements, 
type frame and find the phone frame and drag it into your portfolio. To get your videos inside the frame, you will need to upload your videos into Canva first by clicking upload and finding the videos you wish to include. Once they have uploaded, you simply drag them into your frame. Another quick tip is to ensure that you turn off all autoplay on your videos because if you don't, once you've published your portfolio, all the videos will begin playing at once. By turning off autoplay, the brand will then be able to click on whichever video they wanna watch and it will begin playing. It's most ideal to place your ad like videos first, AKA speaking to camera, so that the brand can see how authentic you come off when it comes to promoting a product with a call to action. Then you can also include all the other kinds of videos in your portfolio to show off your versatility, such as an unboxing, ASMR, testimonial, product review, etc. And if you want a full breakdown of all the video types, you can go check out my UGC Creator 101 video, which I'll leave in the description below for you. In this next section, you'll want to dive straight into your UGC photos to show the brand what kind of photos you could produce and what kind of photos they could expect to get from you. I personally like to include professional photos from my DSLR, as well as UGC photos straight from my phone. This section is really easy to do if you wanna keep your photos in a grid-like format. To create this section, you simply go to elements, type in grid and pick a grid that best suits the look for your portfolio and for however many photos you wish to showcase. I personally went with 10, which I actually made up from two grids of five photo blocks, but there is really no magic number. Now, once you have dragged your grid into your portfolio, you simply upload the photos you wish to include through the upload tab and drag each photo into the individual grid. You can adjust the space of the photos on the tab above where it says spacing, and this will reduce that padding in between your photos. This really gives your photo section a nice professional look to it. In your next section, you will want to create a space for your previous clients and testimonials. You only need this section if you actually have some testimonials or some great comments or maybe feedback from the brand. I personally love to include screenshots of any email correspondence on how a brand enjoyed working with me or anything that can back up my integrity as a creator. All you'd need to do is screenshot the testimonial by clicking Shift Command 4 and drag over the text and then drag this screenshot into your portfolio. To create the brand logos, simply go to elements, type frame, pick your frame and duplicate as many as you need. Then you find the logos of the brands online and drag them into the frames. Having these logos will help build more credibility and show the brands you are a true professional. Analytics can help a brand understand how well your videos do organically or through paid ads. Now, sometimes it's a lot harder to get paid ad analytics as this is something the brands often don't share. So if you wish to include some kind of analytics here, I would just suggest even some of your own organic results. The same steps apply here as in the testimonial section where you'll simply screenshot some of your analytics and just drag them into your portfolio. Your offered services will be so dependent on what you actually want to offer. Now you don't have to offer certain videos if you don't feel comfortable or confident in doing them, but no matter what you offer, this really helps the brands know what they can come to you for. Even if on this round of collaborations, they don't need that particular type of video. To create these boxes, like I did, you simply go to elements, type shape, and adjust the shape according to how you want to display your services. Then on top, you can add your text. The same steps apply for the box I created on the right, where I include what comes with each video. In this last section, I included my contact, a short about me, and what the brand can expect when working with me in one section here, as you can see. I simply repeated my contact email as from the first page that we worked on as well as dot points about myself now this just needs to be short sweet and highlight what makes you stand out you want to do your best to lead with your individuality and your strengths that make you stand out however if you don't have any accolades or anything like that it's just a great place to lead with your personality and really let that shine through all of these elements included in this last section are once again just shapes texts and photos, which we've already gone through in this video. Once you are done, you will need to make your website available with a live website link. Now to do this, simply click publish website, check the box if you want to resize for mobile. I personally didn't do this because it messed up with my format a little bit too much, so I just left that. Then you hit continue, include your URL link that you wish to use, as well as any keywords if you want to be searchable online in the page description section, and then hit publish. You'll be able to view your website both on desktop and mobile, and you can use that link to send to brands. And just like that, you are ready to send your portfolio to brands that you wish to start working with. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with a creator, brand, or entrepreneur with whom you think this would really help. And if you need a little inspiration or guide for how to lay out your UGC portfolio, you can check mine out linked in the description below as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.